Right. Um, oh crap. Yeah, so uh, attempting to uh, make a quick video of a of an illustration or some of an illustration that I um, did some quick work on. So a lot of conversation um, around the uh, the A zero. Um, as well as the uh, the K number has uh, been going on of late. Um, uh, there's a recent uh, video uh, released where Duncan, Kevin, and um, Lars um, were all sort of having a conversation with Rick and Philippe about this. Um, it was actually quite insightful. As far as I understand it so far, um, the idea is that there's not going to be a fixed um, A0 or a K that is supposed to be dynamic. Um, and how that works, I think, will be, I uh, will start to see that once the, um, what's the word, once the main edge releases. So, anyway, so here what I'll decide to do is just to uh, create a simple illustration uh, of a few graphs which show distribution basically um, looking at um, distribution when there's a thousand pools uh, and when there's a hundred pools. Right. Um, so I'll just jump into it. Um, I'm going to be starting from the top to the bottom and then I'll do it from basically uh, and then from the starting side from side to side so starting side to the infinite side uh, right so yeah here we are uh, so the top to bottom we've got uh, the red which is the saturation um, equilibrium right so there's a lot of talk about equilibriums right with both the k point and the a0 and how the a0 point uh, relates to the uh, to the k parameter I suppose um, yeah so saturation so the idea is um, the the point um, the, the highest point here is um, you know, however million, however many million, each um, pool would have delegated to it as a maximum. You go over that, that then affects how how much rewards you get. How much slash how many rewards? Um, so that's the saturation. Next is green. Uh, this is basically the amount of people who have delegated stake to you. Um, as you can notice, it kind of, you know, it goes, uh, okay, yeah, actually, I won't touch on that for the moment. Um, yeah, so that's the green. Uh, the pink is the amount that is pledged. So obviously, you've got the delegated amount, which is a, a lot more than the pledged amount. Uh, and the pledged amount is basically a fixed, uh, or ADA which um, is somewhat kind of locked in and you can't sort of take it out uh, or if you do within the epoch that affects the rewards um, which go to the pool and the idea behind this is basically to actually have ADA that's um, delegated and pledged which is in a way frozen to limit symbol tags basically to limit um, the, po <clears throat> the possibility of someone uh, coming in and um, yeah, basically, like, for example, um, uh, on a manifestation uh, of a symbol attack can take a form of like creating a whole bunch of pools, right? Um, so because stuff will be frozen through like the pledge uh, or the amount pledged, the motivator pledged would um, then mitigate that. And then last but not least, the bottom you've got costs in orange. Uh, yeah. So now we'll start from the very beginning where you've got the first pool all the way up to the thousands. And I'll just have a look at how I think um, 
the different positions, you know, um, when you're closer to the 1,000th point, how that affects the distribution as well as closer to the first um, point uh, of the pool, that, which is rated number one. <clears throat> right. Um, so, yeah, saturation is pretty much... Um, at, at an equal point all the way until the thousandth pool um, at which point it then tapers off I don't think it would make sense for it to just like go straight down I think it would actually naturally sort of taper off in this particular kind of way um, and then you've got the delegation or the staked um, ADA I, my estimation is that Pools closer to the number one spawn won't need that much um, delegation, right? They might have um, more costs, but that would then be, in a way, um, uh, balanced out by a lower pledge amount. And the idea is that the closer you get to the thousandth, Pool, right I think desperation will start to kick in where then pools will start to try and push down their cost right try to be as low cost um, as possible and try and get more people to delegate which I think will then gradually lead these pools to get closer to um, that saturation point and probably even go you know slightly above it but what's interesting here is that a lot closer um, that you'll you'll breach that threshold a lot closer um, to that a thousandth um, point uh, line. Oh, yeah, and um, that will then also affect the amount of pledge, right? So the idea is to push down cost and try and get more people to delegate, as well as pledge. Right, because the relationship between the cost, at least what we've learned so far, is the relationship between cost and pledge really affects your position, uh, your ranking. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much the the essence of it here. And obviously, all of these taper off. Um, Again, you know, so for example, one of the reasons why they still they taper off in this way is because all these pools which are past their thousand point, especially those which are closer to it, the idea is that these would be pools which are really trying hard to get in. So, you know, it will be in their best interest. Um, they'll either be ones which will have been pushed out or ones who have never been in or trying to get in. Um, it will be in their best interest to basically carry on or have low costs, try and have, uh, try and gain more and more delegation, and within that delegation have more pledge, because that then improves their um, the chances of actually being able to get past the threshold, because um, once they get past the threshold, uh, they actually get more rewards uh, not more that's the thing i'm not even sure about that actually i think they'll get i'm not sure whether it's binary whether past a thousand point you do get rewards um and then after it you don't get any which doesn't which would make sense i think it will basically just mean like you'll get a lot more like it's a lot healthier once you're within the the k parameter right so in this case we're looking at between one pool and a thousand which is why also, you know, the saturation uh, equilibrium sort of tapers off in that way um, because, yeah, there's sort of like a natural distribution where it wouldn't, yeah, again, as I said earlier, it wouldn't just sort of die off. And then closer to the infinity um, uh, on, on the lower end, you'll see that the saturation point just sort of like completely goes away but the amount of delegation um, is still there so these are pools which um, you know are much smaller but you know, people are still de delegating to them and um, 
obviously cost is like super low right so um uh, yeah these are probably going to be some of small hardware uh sort of like raspberry pi ish or just people like running it on um their machines at home kind of thing uh and then obviously pledge you know people will be delegating to those pools but also pledging to them as well um in the hope that that will i suppose someone that will help towards actually getting them to improve in terms of rank um right so let's have a look at a uh, hundred pools so here we go so this is how the distribution sort of changes or how i kind of envisage the distribution to change it's a lot more drastic and one thing to note here is that obviously everything from uh everything still means the same thing all the colors um but the distribution is a lot more drastic um especially the amount of saturation and how soon that happens right so you've got at around the the 50th pool give or take at that point the distribution just really kicks in and you know uh saturation and delegation just exceeds uh, the saturation point and then obviously affects you know past the threshold of the 100 pool um, k parameter and then obviously that then affects the pledge right and the pledge sort of plateaus at a point where um, where it will arrive at a point of uh, diminishing diminishing returns right which Duncan um, pointed out uh, in the talk so again the same effect occurs here we've got the cost affecting the pledge and the pledge also affecting um, delegation as well um, and what's interesting here is that things like pledge and cost actually spill over way um, uh, way further into or past the hundred, uh, the hundredth point, because competition will be really cut through to this point. So, even if you're not receiving those rewards, there's a huge incentive to actually, you know, keep up the cost and try and keep up, um, basically pledging and everything else in a bid to try and get past the threshold so that you can actually um, start to earn a bit more and offset your cost. Um, one key thing that I realized here that what what I see happening right is the pools that would be say between the first and the fiftieth could arguably uh, yeah the the thing that explains why they have less delegation because obviously as far as I know you can't really in a public pool at least you can't restrict people from delegating right but in a private pool you can so i see people who have or pools who have an inordinate amount creating private pools right which then unless within the the algorithm private pools are somehow um uh, algorithmically uh, deranked or deprioritized. Um, I see people creating, which actually might might be uh, might be a thing because on the stake pool um, calculator, if you toggle between um, public and private basically private is equivalent to just delegating a stake it's not really like um, the returns are not really like creating a stake pool uh, like this like day and night um, yeah such a huge difference but anyway so there might be it might be a situation where you know someone will create a whole bunch of private pools which would allow them to limit delegation and just yeah remain 
within yeah the first to the fiftieth, and then essentially leave fifty to one hundred to you know the plebs, um, <laughs> uh, yeah to uh, to the public, and you know to sort of let people fight over scraps kind of thing. So I'm very much not for um, lesser pools. Uh, and I think this sort of, um, again, this is not mathematically, um, um, represented or calculated. This is just my estimation of sort of how I perceive these dynamics sort of playing out. Um, hang on, let's jump back here. Yeah, that was that. Um, let me know. What do you think?